Trinity Sunday, Year A, from the second epistle of Paul to the Corinthians. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Amen. These are trying times. We're facing more fully some ugly truths about racial reality in this nation, truths that some of us have witnessed only out of the corners of our eyes. And it may seem like an odd time to consider the unity and divinity among the three persons of the Trinity. And yet, when we consider how we fail to honor our own unity in humanity, among the various expressions of our mortality, when better to hold up the relationship in whose image we were created? In our reading from Genesis, we see that together with the, the persons of the Trinity create, sweeping over the waters, speaking light into being, declaring the goodness of what emerges from the collaboration. And we hear from our psalmist, that fullness and unity was not enough for the Trinity, who's reached out to us, been mindful of us, embracing and adorning us, though we differ from God. When we obey the command in our gospel to baptize all nations in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, when we pray with Paul, for the grace of that same Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We hold up the Trinity as a model and inspiration for ourselves. Let us therefore not accept the grace of God in vain, but strive instead to approximate that unity, that mindfulness, and that mutual care across difference, that just and merciful exercise of whatever dominion has been granted to us. For so we have sworn of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.